Hello, my friends. Well, today I was out with my friend, uh, the one I told you that has uh, breast cancer. Uh, every other Thursday, she goes for her chemo, and then on a f uh, the Friday following, she has to take a shot for her bone. I think it's to make new blood cells, I believe that's what she says. I'm, I'm not sure. So, usually she feels okay after that, and... Uh, We'll go thrifting. That's what she wants to do. Then that's what we're going to do. That makes her day. Makes my day. <laughs> so we, we went to two thrifts. And um, before I talk about the thrifts, I just want to say, um, regarding me right now, with the winter and everything, I'm still at a standstill. Um, haven't lost anything. But uh, I'm hoping that will change soon. But everything is fine with me. My clothes are still fitting me. I'm happy. Um, want to be happier with it going down. Don't want it to go up. So, but other than that, hey, I think we all go through that in the winter. You know, you lay back a little bit from exercising. So, it is what it is. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> so, for the thrifting, I got, let's see, uh, I got this bag. It's a Liz Claiborne, and it's super yummy and soft, and that's the way I like them. And I like them to have a lot of compartments, and it's it's a it's it's a small one, so that's I like to travel with something like this. So that's going to be one of my traveling bags. I picked up a coin purse because my coin purse broke the other day, so and I had to Velcro it and. It was a mess, so <laughs> I kept losing my change out of it. This one has a little zipper, it has a little heart, and I like that it has a couple of compartments in it like that, so yeah, yeah, cute and leather. I like leather. Um, I got this little pencil holder. I've been doing a lot of zen doodling, and I'm having a blast with it. After the end of the day, you know, from being in the house, crocheting, cleaning, and everything, I like to sit back with my husband and just get my book, my colors, like a kid, and just go for it. So, Zen doodling is just what is it? What it is? It's doodling. So I'm a crafter. I enjoy. doing that. Uh, actually, I've been crafting on a couple of things. Let me show you here real quick. Uh, I've been making some little shoes. Right now, these are just samples, but I'm going to end up making a shoe either out of cloth and decorate them and make them into ballet shoes. Uh, that's one sample, and then this is a smaller sample. So I'm kind of not too crazy about this one, so I made it a little bit different, made it a little bit bigger. So I think I'm going to go with this one. Um, also, I made a little baby shoe. <laughs> These are just my little samples to see how I was going to like it. And uh, I made it a little bit bigger. And they are lefties, I think. They're both lefts. Yeah. I think they're both lefts. Yeah. So, um, I made this one bigger. And I think I'm going to go with this one instead of this one. Don't know yet. Still thinking about it. But I put little treats in here or baby socks or stuff like that when I have my art fest and, uh, and sell them. All right. So I showed you my pencil holder. I showed you my crafts. And I got this little grease container. <laughs> Back in the day, my mama had one. And she would put her bacon grease in her, any kind of good grease. But basically, if it was bacon, it would be bacon. If it was pork or anything else, it would be just that. So it wasn't ever mixed. It was either one or the other. But what I want to use it for, and I'm going to keep it in my in my kitchen by my stove, and I'm going to put a little baggie in here. So when the oil cools down, I will put it in here. Once it gets full, the baggie gets thrown out. Good idea, huh? <laughs> but that's what I'm going to use it because right now I'm using like... Uh, little buckets of uh, sour cream, yogurt, or whatever, and I fill them up with oil, and then I dump them. So this way, I can do it even with 
you know, with the little baggie. I think it's a better idea. So then I found this little chicken. I think it's adorable. She's got a little apron on. I'm going to fill her, clean her up and fill her up with Dawn and have her in my kitchen. <laughs> Me and Rosemary, we love our roosters. Then I found these wooden uh, napkin holders, and uh, it looks like they came from Target, and uh, they were like four fifty, but I got them for two fifty, and I'm gonna put them on my desk in my craft room. So don't know what I'm gonna use them for. I might use them for the six by six papers. So I'm thinking of using it for that. And then <clears throat> I found this. Now I've had one of these, and I love it. Love to travel with these because when we're at the hotel, when we go to our meet and greets, um, everybody comes into our hotel room and we'll start giving out coffee. <laughs> so it percolates the water immediately and you got coffee. So uh, it's a great little uh, kitchen contain uh, to boil water and to have it for traveling. So I I'm glad I got it just before we go our in our traveling. Then I found some dockers for my husband. I usually don't find a whole lot of stuff from my husband at the thrift. It's usually I get stuff. Uh, but I couldn't pass this up for a dollar. Dockers. And I love this fabric. In fact, he has a pair of pants just like these. But I'm like, I wasn't going to buy I didn't care if he did have them. Uh, but look at the way the material. It's a really soft. I don't know how to explain what fabric it is, but it's super duper soft. It's like for suits and stuff. It's really, really nice. And he already has a pair. But girlfriend, I, uh, guys, I could not leave this for no dollar. <laughs> I bought it. And then I got him another pair that I found. They're also Dockers. These are a little bit bigger, but he can wear a belt. So these were really nice. So I'm fixing to put them in the wash. I found me a pair of pants. They're like little suit pants with the stripes. So I was really, really excited about that. And they have a little cuff at the end. For a dollar. Can you imagine a dollar? Some thrifts that I've been going to have been crazy, like $7.99, $8.99, $10.99. But no, this particular one on Fridays, I can get stuff for a dollar. And here's a shirt. I think I paid two or three for this. I can't remember. But I got this for my husband for his blue jeans. Then I got this for a dollar. It's like a mustard creamy color. And it's a dress barn. And I like to wear these in the summer, even though they're like a sweater. They're a very nice, soft, cool sweater. So I can wear like a uh, this by itself or a little blue jean jacket or a, a blue jean shirt. You know, I make it into a jacket with my skirts. And then I found this shirt for a dollar. Love it. Um, I'm not sure of this brand, Nine and Company. But I love it. It's like a Tunisian, I think. I don't know. And then I found brand new tags and all on here. And my friend says, it's too big. I said, I don't care. I like them big. But they're, uh, it's a bed jacket, just like this one. Except this one has roses. Gorgeous. Oh, and then I found one more last thing. Ugh. Gotta put that in the washing machine. This ring, sterling silver, two dollars, two. <laughs> so I was like, and it fits me perfectly, perfectly. Couldn't beat that. So it must be a size five because I wear a five, five six. So. Yeah, y'all. Um, oh, and the last thing for my birthday. Our birthday was March the 3rd, and my husband got me this. I have been wanting it and wanting it. We've been pricing them. They're a little expensive, but this is what I got for my birthday. Yay! <laughs> it is a dress form. Yay, y'all. I love it. She is, uh, let me see, down there at the bottom, the legs, I love the legs because they're heavy duty. They're not cheapy. 
And this dress form, it's not hollow. It actually has uh, uh, foam inside. And so a lot of the dress forms we were looking at did not have the dress forms. What do you call it? Not dress forms. I can't talk. The cushion. So um, I wanted the one with the cushion inside. I didn't want the one that was paper mache So we had seen some of those at Hobby Lobby, and they wanted $80 for it. So mm -mm. I wanted something better than that. So that was my birthday gift and thrift haul. <laughs> so thanks, everybody, for watching, and we will see you when we see you. Bye, everybody. I forgot to say that this is from Rose. She got me a Lazy Susan. This fruit was from our oldest daughter, Cecilia. Thanks everyone for my birthday wishes. Love y'all. Bye!